Previously on the missing steps. See, you, you bother yourself too much. And you don't. That's why we are in this situation. Now, because of them, you have been sacked. Stop following me around. I have told you so many times. I don't know what you're talking about and I don't want to be involved. I'm offering you cool cash for one package. There was an ad hoc science competition in school and I came out top. And I got this. Are you sure you don't need any for yourself? No, I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm fine. Who the hell did this? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I called Clay as, as, as I usually do when I, when I, whenever I work late. And I go here right on time. And I didn't see any package. Nobody ever plays with me like this. The Capone involved in student drug overdose has a nice ring to it as well. I told you I had my eyes on you. I thought you were smart. Did I startle you? No, no. Hey, Bills. Where are you headed? Um, I'm, I'm just around. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Well, so I was thinking the dinner dates we never got to have. We could just have it later this evening. But I've told you, I've been Sorry. through this before. It, it can't happen. I, I, I've told you. Wow. Well, maybe I don't like to take no for an answer. You have to take this one. Are you in a hurry? No. Bills, you know what? We'll see later now. Does she know? Does Chinwe know you sold drugs to her son? How did you, how did you know this rubbish? <laughs> I will tell you on my own terms. Trust me on this one. Okay. We'll find us soon enough. <laughs> okay. Tega, Tega, Tega. You must recognize this place. I've never been here before. Not from what my sources tell me. I swear, I've never been here before in my life. I swear. Your life must mean too less for you, for you to swear on it. The drugs you took here, who did you sell them to? I didn't take any drugs. I didn't take any drugs. Okay. 
I might have to rephrase the question. The drugs you stole from me, who did you sell them to? Hey, hey, yeah, yeah, please, please. I'm going to ask you this one more time. Whatever you say here would determine if you're going to live here with your head or otherwise. Please, please. I'm going to kill you slowly. I'll start with your hand. And I'll end with your head. Please. Now, how did you break into this place? Who did you sell my stuff to? Please. Ah. I'm going to count to one, two, three. One, two. I need to break it. He gave me the keys. He gave me the keys. Which of my boys gave you the key? Who gave you the keys? Joshua, Joshua! Are you very sure about your sources? Are you sure they are not just giving you information because it is what you want to hear? Look, we might be an ordinary school magazine, but our sources are very authentic. While I was on my way here, our source told me that Hassan's father is already in school and he's a military man. Plus, he said he's willing to go to the ends of the earth to find out whoever sold the drugs to him. <sighs> what do you plan on doing if this ever comes back to you? I'm sure you had some kind of plan before you ventured into this. No. You didn't have a plan B in case it backfired. <laughs> wow. Look at you. You're looking great. It's been ages. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you eventually see Rose? Rose, that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that story for another day. <laughs> uh, that's uh, Thank you, my dear. You're welcome. How old are you now? I turned 16 in a few weeks. Wow. You're a big girl already. Yes, yeah, so she's the babe of the house. <laughs> <laughs> How time flies. It does. It's I remember really... the last time I saw her. She was barely walking. Ah. Omola Baka, it's been 15 years mm. already. True. <laughs> 15 years. <laughs> um, where's Joshua? Oh, that one. Hmm. He went to the school library. He's a bookworm. Really? Mm hmm You know, the other day he won a quiz competition. He was given a huge amount. It was wow. science quiz competition that the school organized. You so. must really be proud of him. <laughs> You know, sometimes I look at him and say to myself, Joshua, one day you go make me proud. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Wow. Ah, yes. I was afraid he could do something bad to Chimu. I had no choice. Love, 
and the crazy, stupid things we do. I didn't expect it to last this long. I thought it was just a one-off deal, you know, just do it once and, 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 and move on. But then he kept ordering me to make more. And now I am in this mess. You know, I often, I, I often think that I'll, how I want to get out of this. I often just, you know, think and stress my head. But then I decided to play cool. You know, let me play cool till I graduate. And then now this is happening. Yes. Kai, we need to see. For what? See, look, the police have been going around town asking questions. So? Kai, we need to see. So we can, we can plan on how to make our stories align. I told you. I told you. I warned you it's going to get to me. I said it. See, see, no one is suspecting us now, Joe. No one is suspecting us. Where? At what time? Yes, now the normal place. 2 p.m. Okay. Good job. Uh, are you okay? Can you trust him? We are in this together. What if he rats you out to the school authorities? He's going to be in trouble too. Drug dealers can't be trusted. I, I didn't mean it that way. I know you're different. Am I? If you see how many soldiers stormed the VC's office hmm. after they took him, um, the school authority handed Tega over to the police. Abba, for what now? Ain't you heard that son's father is a military man? I heard, but I just thought it was one of those stories. I saw my eyes, though. The guy was struggling with says even as he was trying to talk to the VC. Yeah. Wait for the area part. Did you know that her son was his first son and was supposed to transfer to a university in Canada next month? So. Ah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Once your students were crying and cursing whoever sold that drug to him. It's true now. I don't see why anybody ah! wants to sell such hard drugs on this campus. Hm, my dear. Hey, um, is Bill's not around? Billy Kisu is not around. Oh, um, okay. Why do I have the feeling you girls were talking about me? You. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just joking. I actually wanted to listen in on your secret gist. There's no secret gist about Hassan's death. Oh, yeah. Poor boy. I think he just got mixed up with the wrong crowd. Very wrong. I hope they catch the person that sold the drugs. Punish him. As a matter of fact, kill him. For real? Mm-hmm. Chingwe, do you feel that way too? Are you asking? God forbid it was your relative that got killed by this drug. Would you still be asking? And God forbid, it was actually our relative that sold him the drugs. You wouldn't want his head on a plate now, would you? Are you saying this person shouldn't be punished? No, I'm just saying that he might have a story, actually. What story could he possibly have that's what a young man's life? <sighs> Look, I'm just saying, don't throw stones at the market. It just might hit our moms. 
anyway, see you guys later. Bye. What's up? Nothing. Well, you called me here to talk now. I heard that Sans' father is, 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 is involving the high and the mighty. Yeah, that's all too. Oh, um, Tega, if my name is mentioned, I will deny you. You will deny me? Of course, now why are you looking shocked? I told you from the onset I do not want any problems with the Capone. And I told you, and you assured me that you will not sell those, that drug anywhere near the campus. Very good. Very, very clever. I must have underestimated you, Joshua Brown. Your meek look and your visible weakness was all a guise. You pay for this. I think I want to put this in the next edition of the school magazine. Uh, what do you think? See? Yeah. Not bad. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, wait. All this because of a girl. You wouldn't blame him now, would you? Bills. I hope this guy's not giving you a false hope just to get information out of you. <laughs> Me? False hope? Seriously? I'm just saying, I don't want you to get your hopes up. For a guy that is trouble, you don't need that. Mm. Coming from a girl who has dated a troubled guy. <laughs> Are you being right now? No, I'm not. <sighs> Baby, see. I and Joe are just friends, nothing more. Uh, I, you just have to be careful, especially now that a dead person is involved. It's okay. Does she know? No. She's the cause of everything going on right now. But she is not really her fault, really. Mm. Here, right here. What are you saying? Your folks were having financial issues and you thought the best way out was to steal from me? Do you have an idea how much I lost that night? Sorry. I'm sorry, Kapo. I'm sorry, please. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. You're going to raise me 500,000 Naira before the end of the semester. Ah. I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't know where I'm going to get 500,000 Naira from. Kapo, please. That's not my business. Ah, please, please, I'm sorry, please. Yes, you will get me the money I was supposed to make that night. If by the end of this semester you don't get me the 500,000 there, I'll make you escape good on campus. Ah. Now get out of my sight. Get out! <laughs> Are you, are you going to let him live like that? Don't worry about him. Please have it. Please. I can't. It's not a loan. It's my contribution to your travel dreams. I know how much you want to go to Europe and make money for us all. Where did you get this money? Is, is this from your boyfriend? No. See, I don't want to owe anybody anything. Believe me, I didn't get it from him. I've been saving money for some time now. I wanted to get a shop on the mainland and open a salon. But I had everything. Your dreams. Your aspirations. 
they are more feasible. And I know when you go to Europe, you make us proud. I know when you get there, you won't forget us. Please, take this money, pursue your dreams. Mine can wait, please. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. How was school? Fine. It's food in the kitchen. Do you want me to serve it? No, no, not now. Mm. Thank you, ma'am. Darling, there's something wrong with him. Who? Joshua. Didn't you see his face when he came back from school? There was nothing wrong with his face. You were not looking. I'm talking to you now. He's locked himself in the room and he only does that when he's un un unhappy. Maybe he just wants some alone time. How can you be talking about a long time when I'm saying someone is unhappy? There's something wrong with him. Oh, now. Okay, what do you want me to do? Go and check now. Go and check. Talk to him. Find out if he can open up to you. Find out what's going on with him. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong with your eyes? My eyes? No, nothing. Maybe it's my eyebrow that, that uh, got into it. That's it. Nothing. Your mother is worried about you. She thinks you have gotten into a bad trouble in school. No, nothing. <laughs> nothing, nothing bad happened in school. Yeah. At your age, it's quite normal for you to think that you can handle any bad situation that comes your way alone. Oh, fine. At your age, I used to think like that too. But I want you to know that a problem shared is a problem solved. And son, whatever it is, please know that we are here for you. <laughs> yes, sir, but uh, everything is fine. I I'm okay. And how about your dinner? I'll, I'll come eat as soon as I'm done laying the bed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 